saw the angled approach. <laughs> what? It's the angled approach. It's, on oh. a, it's like a gooseneck. Like you gotta snap the gooseneck. You know what I mean? Good morning. Good morning. Day one. 6.22 in the morning. We finally made it out of the house. And we made it out of the house early. Co's already almost back to sleep. Get it together, dude. I'm just lying here. No, I know what you're doing. So we are headed to Colorado, Utah. We might venture into Arizona. We'll be close. I'm not against it. So, and it's going to be a two week fiasco. Rager. Rager. Me neither. <laughs> I'm not against it. So we got Jared and Morgan behind us for their first time in their ZR2. <laughs> and he's got it packed out. I just I'm by no way we are no by no means veterans to the no, overlanding but industry. Seeing them pack. But seeing them pack and like the full stress case that they're going through and there's stuff everywhere, things are tied down, they can uh, it just feels good, you know. It feels good to have just a little bit more knowledge than someone else as opposed to trying to figure it out ourselves. So, we are headed out, um, and we're going to just shoot over to Kansas. I mean, it's not like a quick shoot. <laughs> 13 hours, we're going to camp at a campground in Kansas. Forget what it's called. It doesn't really matter because it's Kansas. No disrespect Kansas. to Kansas. It's not that I hate Kansas. Kansas City Chiefs. Patty Mahomes. Mahomes. That's your homie. It's not that I don't like Kansas, but. So we're just gonna push it on out. I mean, we got a great start this morning. I haven't eaten a thing. McDonald's breakfast. McDonald's breakfast. Huh? Yeah, I'm fine with that. Not right this second, though. I wanna get get some miles under my belt. You know how I get. So follow along on the Instagram. We'll put it here, here, or there. Be able to see the trip, the trip in real time. Well, not this trip in real time. This is going to be two weeks behind as it is. Like the video if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you like the channel. And we will catch up with you guys whenever we uh, make it to wherever the heck we're going. So we, Finally. How many hours, Co? Um, 13. Yeah, 14. We left super early. 5 o'clock in the morning. 6. I don't remember. 6.30. I'm shot out right now. But I wanted to take this moment to first apologize to Kansas. Because Kansas, you got a bad rap. I have only driven through Kansas in the wintertime. And it's been miserably cold. And everything's dead. But... Now, everything's alive. The, the plains and the grasslands, it's all freaking beautiful. We are at Canopolis State Park. Um, and that's just southwest of Celine, Salina. Salina. So I got schooled <laughs> on that at Walmart. So we're at uh, just southwest of Salina. It took us 14 hours to get here, but it's a campground. It's really the only place that I could find for all on of us. On a lake? To, yeah, on a lake. Hold I'm on. not complaining. Hold on. Our camp spot is just up this hill, and this is the lake, and this is Canopolis Lake, I believe. So, it's been a pretty sweet trip. Jared and Morgan are trying to get their flow of uh, setting up their tent and kind of get their system down because this is their first experience being out it's doing this. Supposed to rain, this. and it is supposed to rain. Uh, well, thunderstorm. Forty-seven percent chance. 
and then 51% and then all the way in the morning. And I'm a gambling man. Those are gambling numbers. That's, I mean, that's decent. So we're gonna go finish up cooking, get a fire going. Cohen's running around like a freaking maniac. He loves the water. I'm surprised he's not in it already. And uh, we'll uh, probably see you guys in the morning. Probably won't see much of us tonight because I'm just gonna relax. I'm dead tired. Okay. I can't feel the ground underneath me. Oh, baby, make my body shake. Got the sun coming up and I'm wide awake. Tonight has been a long time coming. Now I can finally see. Everybody puts a plate to something. Might as well be with me. I can free. So free. So free. Sorry. Three miles to the gallon on a good day, brother. It's beautiful. You won't go drive your truck up the mountain right now through the trees. You might be a trailboat. Here I go. Feeling good because it's already recording. Well, today has been a day with very little filming. We woke up just outside of Salina. We had a regular breakfast, nothing crazy. There was really nothing to film, and quite honestly, <laughs> today's just been such a power push. No showers, hair's all greasy. Coe's taking pictures of us taking videos. He got a pop tart on his face. So, okay, good to know. We're on our way to a camp spot that I'm gonna let Courtney explain how she found it and where it's at because I don't really know. I've been driving all day. You want so me to explain it right now? I want you to explain it now. Like, what is it? What's it called? It's called Hip Camp. H I P C A M P. And we'll put Hip Camp in the description so you can click on it and go check it out. What is it? It is a website. They also have an app. It will give you um, it'll give you campgrounds and stuff, but it also allows people who own land to say, "Hey, you can come camp at my land. Super cheap. Our camp spot tonight is ten bucks, um, and they just you create an account, you search where you're, search wherever you want to go, and it'll give you a list, and it'll tell you." If there's amenities, if there's not amenities, is it RV only, is it tent only, um, are there campfires allowed, are there toilets, and all of that. And then it doesn't give you a, the exact location where it's at until you book it, but you can message like the host on there and uh, yeah, and you can book it on your phone. They have some sites that are instant book and for us we were looking just today for a place to stay. So I chose the instant book and you put in your credit card information book and bam, they send you, it saves your trips and it sends you directions as to how to get there. We are staying one in Colorado, so she gave us just, hey, go to this city and then written directions. I read the reviews. Everybody says the reviews are extremely accurate and makes it really easy to get to. Get to. Um, it's a really cool app. I was looking at lots of different states. I was looking at Ohio, Wyoming, Montana, I even looking at Alaska and Hawaii. How did you find it? Uh, you found it. I found Hip Camp? Yeah, that's what you found. You must have, you... Oh, this I think I sent you this morning. Yeah. So this morning we were looking for places to camp because we didn't really, we don't have a plan necessarily, which is kind of what we always do. We have a plan tomorrow, but we didn't really have a plan for today and we needed to find a place to camp. And because of all the seasonal seasonal closures and things that are going on in Colorado, we tried to find a, not necessarily a campground, but this was like kind of a, a much better secondary option. I guess it's more of like a grassland. Um, and there's two or three sites that this lady has on her property that she's gonna allow us to stay at for $10 for tonight or 10 bucks, right? 10 bucks for the night. So it's been 
it's pretty sweet that it's even available. I didn't even know what hip camp was. I didn't even know I found it. So we're gonna go there and camp there tonight. We are headed to Rim Rocker Trail tomorrow, which is gonna take us from Colorado into basically Moab. And then we're gonna hop around to Moab and end up a couple different places in Moab. Um, and that's really all it is. We haven't filmed really anything today because There's nothing to film. the west portion of Kansas is exactly what you think it is. Absolutely nothing. The eastern portion of Kansas is pretty. So I'd like to apologize to the eastern half of uh, Kansas. <laughs> like I last night I apologized to the whole state and I definitely jumped the gun. So we're going to uh, get there tonight, get to camp. It's late. We're going to get there close to dark. Obviously that's pretty normal. So we're going to try to get in, get food cooked, get our camp set up get a campfire going, relax around the campfire, and just freaking hang out and relax, because tomorrow we can get up whenever we want. We don't have to leave at any specific time, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a nice night. And last night's sleep, though, it's great, so great. Cold, but great. You were, I was good, you were cold. I was freezing. Well, I don't have a little blanket. I mean, you had a little blanket. My blanket, though? I got a new blanket and I had to use the old, old what, trusty. But why did I get a new blanket? Because I took old trusty thinking that old trusty was the truth. But whose was, was old trusty? Old trusty was yours. Yes. That's what I mean. And you left me with nothing. And then you got something better and here I am freezing to death. Yeah, it was fantastic. It worked out great. So we're going to get to camp. I'll probably do a couple videos when we get there. Something light so I can relax tonight and uh, we'll catch up with you guys by tomorrow morning and whenever we uh, get up and get moving. Bye.